Hi all, today we are going to see Jenkins pipelines with active choice reactive parameter using git content API. There are certain prerequisites that we are uh, compiling here today to make sure that you guys have a smooth run for this particular tutorial. So the prerequisites something like you need to have Jenkins locally available and installed. Uh, at, the, at the same time you can use the cloud based version as well if you have enterprise grade access for the Jenkins. Uh, the second thing is you need to have a github access account uh, similar to that what I am showing in the the working code and the repo that you are seeing on the top here. The third thing that I need is like uh, you need to create a repo there uh, in git with the name test token. Uh, the, sec the fourth thing that I want you guys to do is like generate a personal token. I am not going deep into detail but like there is a fairly straightforward process where you can go to git uh, under settings and then generate a personal token for yourself. Uh, similarly, uh, there is another thing that you have to do uh, before going further is like configuring the personal access token in Jenkins under security credentials. I will go uh, one more level deep uh, when we are going to do the actual exercise, uh, like how you can do that. Uh, the other uh, prerequisite like you need to have a multi-branch pipeline creation support in Jenkins. Um, uh, this comes out of the box for the most of the recent Jenkins thing but if it is not there then you have to upgrade your Jenkins or uh, uh, install it accordingly. The for a seventh thing like you open a, <coughs> a snippet generator uh, prior to starting that exercise in a new tab uh, for Jenkins because we need to do multiple switching we are back and fro when we are actually doing the the, the access. Uh, the the eighth thing is like active choice reactive parameter plugin that needs to be installed on Jenkins, <coughs> and we are going to see this in a step by step manner. Each of these uh, things. Okay. So uh, let's start with the Jenkins uh, available locally. Here is my Jenkins uh, thing available which you can see <clears throat> this is my working job uh, but uh, we'll move one step up and see like these are like test token which is uh, the name of the job that we are going to create uh, similarly what I told you guys is like we will go to Jenkins uh, manage Jenkins page uh, manage plugins uh, we will see the plugins available let's say active choice reactive plugin which are installed so you see this active choice plugin here it needs to be available and installed <coughs> similarly i'm going back to dashboard here manage jenkins uh, manage credentials so once you configure your personal token on the git which we were talking here here going under settings and then create your personal token <coughs> So probably I will just skip this step. Uh, you can refer the online blog like how you can go and create it because this is sensitive. So once you have this particular thing available, you go here in Jenkins, <coughs> global credentials, and then you can configure this. Like from here you can create this particular based <coughs> global credentials because we are going to use this credential to access the get api or the the file that we have created in git so you can refer the existing file that i have created in test token so i will just go back here so there are th uh, two or three files that you are seeing here <coughs> one is jenkins file which is the actual a job file that you are going to see and the second one is the pipeline JSON so this is the the workload file and this is the file that is used to populate the content of Jenkins in this particular 
particular pass. So you can see here the options that uh, we have been populating on, on Jenkins in my job is, is coming from here only, this particular thing that I have mentioned. So the end goal of ours is something like this. As soon as you change the, the first thing, the second thing populates on its own. So if I choose QA, now it is showing three options. If you go to the <coughs> file pipeline JSON, it is having three particular types of pipeline, cleanup, create and update of different environment dev, QA and prod. So I will focus back on the things that we uh, we see more relevant here. Um, I have uh, jolted down all the steps that you guys have to follow. So uh, if you follow th these steps, I think um, things will be straightforward on your machines. But there are certain things which I want to emphasize and talk through my, uh, my conversation to make sure that we understand and we are on the same page because these are the things <clears throat> which are most relevant for uh, all of us. And one important thing is with active choice reactive parameters. The basic problem with active choice reactive parameters is that you don't get debug locks with uh, Jenkins. And especially this is more uh, challenging in the environments where uh, we have a, a cloud-based deployment. Uh, so how how we can overcome it to make sure that <clears throat> when we are populating this active choice reactive parameters from uh, some of the external source like github to 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 debug like where where things are going wrong and uh, some of the tips right and uh, this comes from the the previous background of your programming right i mean uh, we don't need any fancy tools uh, we just need to do um, one basic stuff which i'm going to show you here uh, in the Jenkins file, uh, what you have to do here particularly is like you have to surround your code with try cache block, uh, which you are seeing here. Uh, the, the the code is getting surrounded with try cache, and and then then there is a special method in Groovy which is called dump, which you have to use. At the same time, you have to use the 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 box that uh, that is getting rendered uh, on on Jenkins to get your date uh, the feedback uh, when when things go wrong which i am talking is like if something goes wrong this is where your actual error is getting populated with the help of the code that we are going to push here which you are seeing here so you catch the exception you you put the dump statement here and then then you are good to go the second thing which i want to talk through about uh, the deprecation of uh, a basic username and password based authentication on git and this is having consequences on on things where your pipeline code is dependent on on the on the git to 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 get the relevant data and and in this particular case like you have active choice reactive parameter getting populated with the file that is coming from from the git which we have seen just now. So what you have to do and what is the alternative, right? So if you remember uh, as a prerequisite, we have configured credentials uh, in Git credentials plugin, right? So Git provided out of the box a capability to, to read the credentials without doing anything um, extra or superfluous. Uh, so what you can do is like you can use a credential provider uh, and then look the credentials uh, using lookup credentials uh in in this way right what i'm doing is like uh since the name of my credentials which i have created is called git token i iterate over all the credentials and figure out what is uh, that credential or which credential i have to pick it up and, and then assign it to the creds now using this creds it is containing the password which i'm going to pass on in my uh, in my git access url uh, to, to 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 read the de details right one other thing that i want to talk about the github api which is important here is that um, and the content api returns a json json instruction and that you can go again uh, to one of the url of our github content api and it will show you that the contents are coming as uh, encoded from from the backend or git 
API, right? Now, if you have to use this content on your um, job, and in this particular case, since we are using it in um, in, in 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 the parameters, right? Uh, in that particular case, you have to decode that first, and and then only you will be able to use it. So if you see it at line number 34, this file details dot decode base 64 is the thing that it is uh, doing that uh, conversion, right? At the same time, I want to call it out another thing is like uh, we are using JSON Slurper to pass the content. So there are two parts to it, right? The file itself, uh, pipeline dot JSON, uh, is in uh, is, is in um, uh, JSON format, and and at the same time uh, we have uh, our content uh, uh, returned from the git api is also in json format so you will see the usage of json slurper in twice uh, the first one is for the the response that we are receiving from the git um, and the second one is corresponding the file content that we are receiving right so once uh, that file content has been received what we are essentially doing is like we are collecting the element uh, which is just the name of the pipelines here <laughs> And again, we are using some basic uh, groovy jugglery here to to collect the names, and 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 here is where um, uh, we are making it sensitive, right? So this is active choice reactive parameter, and you see this is an environment variable. We are checking that the name of the environment uh, is prompt, then we are only returning the create, and otherwise whatever is the content of the file uh, relevant uh, coming in from the GitHub is returned. So this particularly essentially uh, brings together all the things that we have to talk through uh, but meanwhile what i suggest you go through these steps because there are a lot many things that are going in here uh, some of the things that we have to make sure that uh, uh, we we understand it right right and, and one, one, one of the things is like uh, jenkins file so there are multiple ways in which we can configure things on Jenkins, and one of the uh, the, the the easiest way where where people are putting through is like using Jenkins file uh, checked into the source, and using that Jenkins file to create the job, uh, and and for that we need a certain plugin which we call it multi-branch uh, pipeline. Uh, and, and as I said in, in earlier that this is coming out of the box for most of the recent Jenkins deployment if you don't have to you have to upgrade it so this is what we are using uh, Jenkins pi uh, pipeline <clears throat> one uh, particular thing that um, probably I have not touched uh, yet is about the snippet generator uh, and this is very important part of uh, the overall schema of things what you have to do is like um, and this uh, when you when you create a job there is uh, uh, another thing that comes with it like that is called pipeline syntax you can use this to to create the the properties uh, uh, in, in the environment right so why I'm putting through our emphasis like um, um, out of the box pipelines do not support uh, the parameters uh, as an input but uh, with this uh, workaround when you generate uh, uh, the pipeline code using pipeline syntax generator this works uh, so what you have to do is like you have to select the sample step as properties uh, set job properties and then you you mark this project as parameterized you give the name of your parameters um, and names uh, like for example in this case this is environment dev qa and prod similarly um, you have another parameter that is active choice reactive parameter why this is reactive because this is depending on the value of the previous parameter which is environment so what we are doing here is like we are making use of it which you have seen in your jenkins pipeline so this is the code snippet uh, that you need to copy paste uh, here I, I will just copy it here uh, so that you guys can or i, I will provide it in uh, in the git link uh, which you you need to uh, to use it uh, this is also available in the jenkins file also but i will just keep it in a, a separate window once you add these two values you just need to create uh, or uh, click on this generate pipeline script uh, button and out of the box it will go and create a properties thing for you what you have to do is you have to copy this and then again go back to your git go to the jenkins file and go to the top part of it and then copy paste the entire thing here in the in the properties part 
and and, and that's it uh, for now uh, i mean like this completes the overall process part and then if as i said like if you follow these steps uh, probably it will be easier for you to uh, to do things but yeah there are many moving parts do let me know if you guys have some questions uh, i have also pasted some of the relevant links that you guys need to refer if you are new to things and then want to try your things out uh, probably uh, if if time permits i will just add some more details to to this uh, but i just want to keep it short and relevant so uh, from here on you guys can take it forward so thanks for uh, watching and seeing this